West 2 News starts now with breaking news. A violent, terrifying finish at the very end of the Daytona 500 this evening. One driver moves on to celebrate victory, while another is taken to the hospital after an awful, fiery wreck. Tonight, even people who do not follow stock car racing are rooting and praying for NASCAR driver Ryan Newman. He was leading the final lap of the Daytona 500, wound up in a terrible looking wreck, skidding to a halt upside down in a shower of fire, smoke and sparks. Now, after being carefully removed from his wrecked race car, Newman was then taken to a nearby Halifax Health Medical Center, which offers trauma care. We've got team coverage working to gather any new details relating to Newman's condition tonight. Well, she's Chris Cordero is live at Halifax Health. We start with Darren Stoltzfus though so live at the Speedway to walk us through the last lap chaos. Darren? Yeah, hey there. It was a very quickly moving final lap here in double overtime of the Daytona 500, and this will obviously overshadow Denny Hamlin's second straight win here at the Daytona 500, but on the 209th lap, the extra laps, that's when Ryan Newman was flipped over on his side, collided again with David Blaney on the bottom. We've doctored the video a bit so you don't have to see the exact moments of the crash, but it was a terrifying moment, and you could hear a, a calm or a quiet come over the crowd here at the Daytona 500 in victory lane after the race you could see as slowly officials from the FedEx team were updated with the information that Ryan Newman's crash was indeed serious. Uh, Joe Gibbs, the owner and Super Bowl champion, was very subdued afterwards talking about how he hoped their celebration didn't come across in bad taste. They just didn't have the information. Denny Hamlin, one of the things that stood out, waited in the driver's seat of his 11 car in victory lane for an extended amount of time, actually called for a monitor to come over and show him what happened on that final lap. It was a stark reminder of how dangerous stock car race racing can be, especially at the track where Dale Earnhardt Sr. lost his life not too long ago. But here at Victory Lane, it was a subdued, almost awkward celebration as time did move forward. But as of 10 o'clock tonight, I spoke with track officials here. There is no further update on Ryan Newman's health. He was taken directly to the health center outside of you know the trauma hospital away from the speedway. But his hauler is still along with his teammates haulers still down there by the garages here at Daytona International Speedway. More updates as they happen, but for now live at the World Center of Racing, Darren Stoltzfus, let's send it back to you. Darren, thanks so much. West News' Chris Guadaro is at Halifax Health, which is right down the road from the Speedway. And Chris, any word on Ryan Newman's condition? Yeah, we're here live outside of Halifax Health, which is just about a mile away from the Daytona International Speedway. Uh, we believe that Ryan Newman was taken here by ambulance. Sources indicate that he is in stable condition, but we're waiting for official confirmation on that. Some of his fans and friends are gathered outside the hospital here. They're really waiting for that update from officials. Some are praying, uh, saying kind words about him. But this crash looked absolutely terrible. Some of the fans we've been talking with say there were only a few dozen feet away from the other side of the guardrails and they saw Newman go airborne. Some say that they heard audible screaming when the crash happened. Now some of our local leaders are reacting to this. Volusia County Sheriff Mike Chitwood tweeting to all the Newman family, friends and fans. All of us at Volusia Sheriff are pulling for a full and fast recovery. Some things are even bigger than the Daytona 500. Dale Earnhardt Jr. himself tweeting big prayers for Newman. Now, we are expecting an official update on Newman's condition in a few minutes. But again, sources are indicating that he is in stable condition. We're here live in Daytona. Chris Guardaro, WESH 2 News. All right, Chris, thanks so much. We want to go with a, right now to a news conference that's being held by NASCAR at Daytona Speedway. Non-life-threatening. We appreciate your thoughts and prayers and ask that you respect the privacy of Ryan and his family during this time. We appreciate your patience and cooperation and will provide more information as it becomes available. That's the end of the statement. And then certainly on our behalf, we're going to continue to work with the race team and Ryan's family uh, to support them in any way we can. Um, we'd ask that you respect their privacy um, and going forward, we'll provide updates as we can. But at this time, our thoughts are with Ryan and his family. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. All right, well, that's, that's the best words, news that you could imagine, especially after witnessing what we watched and saw replayed over and over again. Just a horrible wreck at the finish of the Daytona 500. But uh, bottom line here, Ryan Newman's going to be okay. And uh, that's the best news of all. Yeah, non life threatening injuries, uh, certainly the news that all of us wanted to hear. We're going to continue to follow this story very closely. We've got team coverage. As we get more information, we'll pass along to you on air and online at WESH.com.